All right, it's the 26th of November, um, 10 something, 10.30. I'm just sitting on the couch watching. I got a TV, it's on the fucking floor. Just snowed last night, first snow. There's a, I don't know if you can see that shit. There's like a bird in that tree. Um, but yeah, just snowed. 30 days, the next 30 days, uh, I'm gonna do my transformation. I'm gonna do, well, it's kind of like uh, this transformation and 30 days only eating salmon and steak, which I don't know if that's a fucking weird thing. I don't know why everybody has said that. I've told them I'm gonna do salmon and steak. It's been like, what the fuck, why salmon and steak? Why not just snake her? I like salmon and I like steak, so I'm gonna do salmon and steak, so fuck it. Um, and that's all I'm going to be eating or all I'm going to try to be eating. I ate all my salmon over the last two days, but all I have is one steak. I'm going to be eating one meal per day. Well, I can, I guess I'm still drinking milk and shit, but, um, I don't know. Maybe I should cut out milk too, but one meal a day, salmon, steak. Yesterday I had both. I had a giant piece of salmon and a giant piece of steak. And I'm just eating one meal a day. Every day. Fasting the rest of the day. Drinking water. And also going to be working out. Try to work out every single day. If I can't, then that's fine. But uh, that, that'll that just be one day. It's not like every, every single day. I like to give myself like a day, at least a week, maybe two days uh, to rest. But... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna make sure this shit's going. Okay, it's still going. But just drink my pre-workout. I'm gonna get my first workout in today. The last two days I haven't really, uh, I haven't eaten anything other than salmon and steak really. So I guess it's kind of started two days ago. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I didn't work out since two days ago, but I'm gonna work out today. I'm gonna do arms and then I'm gonna show my before transformation and then what i'm gonna look like in 30 days it's gonna be different 30 day challenge um kind of just want to do that so i'm gonna start i know it's christmas it's gonna be christmas on the 26th of december is when it's gonna stop so right on christmas or after christmas so i might have to be like fuck i gotta eat good food or whatever but i might just say fuck it and not do that stuff and just like push it out just um yeah not eat the shitty maybe it's a good time to do that so i won't eat a bunch of sweets and stuff i don't know i don't know if, what i'll count maybe i'll have like one cheat day or something i like to have a cheat day a week honestly i don't know if i'll do that though now i'm thinking about it i have like always my sundays i eat whatever the fuck i want uh, and then the rest of the days I do like eat pretty good. Um, but I'm going to probably just say, fuck the cheat day. Just eat salmon and steak. Well, that, that, that's what the whole fucking challenge is. What am I thinking? Okay. I'm going to eat salmon and s steak for 30 days. No question about it. Um, water, milk, I guess like things that I'm drinking, I'm not really counting. Uh, I don't drink pop. I don't drink, um, like, I don't know what the, what a, I'll drink a smoothie, but I'm not going to drink like a milkshake or like that shit. I don't do that. So, so that's the 30 days. I'm going to go work out right now before, uh, my pre Cause I'm getting itchy right now. Uh, I'm getting tingly. So I'm going to go work out, hit arms and go show the before and then show that for, with a pump. And then, uh, yeah, but so this is the gym. This is my gym. Not terrible. It has some good stuff. It's just like, there's not a ton of stuff. Um, pretty much everything I kind of need. Like there's just some like accessory stuff, like especially for legs that I'm just kind of lacking, but it's fine. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, and here the nice thing about having this place is like 
it's just me always working in here. So what I do is I like to crank this heat. You can see this shit. Give it like 75 in here. And I'm just sweating. So I like it hot in here. People come in here. Like I've had some people come in here when I'm working out. <laughs> They're like, what the fuck? Why is it so hot in here? Um, and I'm just dying. But then they get a cold, but it's cold as fuck outside. So I'd rather just sweat and like, I don't know, I like it. Most people don't like the heat. Like, I would pump it up to 80, but I feel like that would be um, irresponsible. But, yeah, this is it. I've been hitting some tricep push-ups. Um, I'll do a set right now. Look. In my last set. That's good. Don't make fun of my form. I'm really unorthodox right now. I just, I'm at the point where like, I just do whatever the fuck I want, like whatever feels good. And then I just do that shit till my muscles stop working. Like, oh, maybe that's better. Yeah, that's probably better. But yeah, I'm gonna, I'm doing arms right now. I feel like it's a good day. First day is good to be doing arms so i'm gonna hit more i'm gonna hit the biceps i just got done with push downs and whatever those were i do like a, a bunch of shit i'm gonna hit some really heavy dumbbell or maybe i'm gonna actually do it on the thing so i can go super heavy and then after that then we're going all right i'm gonna end it last fucking set let's go 90 I don't know if I'm gonna be able to lift this, but we're gonna fucking do it.
I cannot feel my I can't feel this shit at all. Oh, it's so hot in here. Okay. Next thing. Alright. I'm fucking done. Day one or day one workout. I haven't eaten anything, but okay. We'll see. I don't know if you can see. Is that a good spot? Shit, I don't know where to put it. I don't know if that's a good angle. Here. That might be good. Wait, can you see? Maybe pull that out of the way. Okay. Alright. Let's see what we're working with. This day one. My chest is small, but arms are getting bigger. Like, they might be bigger than like last summer after I like stopped working out. They definitely are actually. They're just not very defined. I got too much for that. This is my worst pose, but oh. That's not, a, that's actually not bad. I'm really bad at posing, but all right. Let's see, like this is the, well, that's just the arm pump, but that's, I wanna see what, like day one, oh damn, my arms look big. Uh, this is better than a week ago, honestly. Uh, but yes, he's still got. I'm gonna get rid of all of that. My chest is gonna be way bigger. I should have probably done a chest pump with this, so like I could get a full thing, because I'm definitely gonna do like a full body pump at the end. But it's not bad, honestly. Um, in the time that I've had. I'll pop up again a picture of what I look like when I was in Miami, but it was not good. It was not even close to this, but I'm actually not too upset with this. Like it's just fat right here. I need to work on my obliques and stuff. My back is all right. My arms need work. My forearms need a lot of work and my chest needs the most work. Chest is like my main thing. If I get a bigger chest, uh, I wonder if my, actual i'm actually in the frame but yeah if i get a bigger chest i think that everything else is just gonna come together my shoulders are right i need more like side delt work my shoulders are pretty good but arms are getting a lot better my legs are fucking lacking like they're not terrible you can't even fucking see them but uh yeah i'm not upset with that but yeah i'm gonna this is my before. This is what I'm looking like before. This is 30 days, day one of 30 days challenge. I'm gonna lean out, get huge, um, eat good, and lift some heavy weight. I mean, I wanna get back up because my lifts are weak as shit. Like, I tried to hit 225 on, um, on, on bench the other day. And I, well, I was at night, honestly, but like I could pro I could probably do like one or two or three if I got a good warm up. But honestly, right now, uh, 225 isn't moving very fast like it used to. So like, I think I was doing like, honestly with 225, I could probably do like seven or eight. I'm gonna have that as my goal. I, I wanna have weight goals too. All right, I'll hit 225. Actually, I'll figure that out tomorrow. I'm gonna do chest tomorrow. I'm gonna figure out what my what my weight goal for bench is. I'm assuming uh, it's gonna be just based on how many times I can do 225. Oh, shit, it's gonna be embarrassing. I don't know if I'll be able to do it honestly. Like if I get like my arms are gonna be sore, my triceps are gonna be sore, but uh, we're gonna do it. I'll give like my stack of what I'm uh, what I'm all eating for nutrition and stuff. This is all the shit I don't even take, I haven't even eaten protein powder or that shit before. I have 
I actually like this pre-workout. Um, I got it fucking at Walmart. It's C-Bones. It's actually pretty good. Like, the thing is, like, it makes you tingly as shit. Um, I've actually been trying this out. Like, instead of having a multivitamin, I have green, smart greens. That's also Walmart. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna get, like, athletic greens when that runs out. Um, just normal stuff. Uh, like, fish oil. Like, pest booster. Stuff like that. Just, like, all... Uh, I, I value nutrition a lot. Like, I'll spend a lot of money on this shit. Like, I just got whey, collagen, <laughs> beef gelatin. I haven't eaten that. I don't know why I have that shit still. Um, like, some liver support. Um, yeah, just normal fucking. I mean, if you work out, it's normal. Maybe, like, to the average person, like, what the fuck? You take, like, my parents, like, what, what the fuck? You're taking so much shit? Like, all right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's not that much. It's just, like, fucking fish oil. and It's, like... Honestly, it's like one, two, three, four, five, six things, and then protein powder, which is like basically just milk, which I mostly just drink milk, but um, yeah, it's messy right now, but just snowed. Um, I'm going to hop in the shower, but that's day one. I will give an update tomorrow once I'm benching 225. It's actually going to be a long ass video, very long. Like 40 minutes, uh, is what I'm thinking. But yeah, that's what I'm going right now. I'm gonna hop in the shower. Not bad to start. My arms do look pretty good. I'm happy with that. And my abs are definitely need some work. Like right here, if I got rid of that stuff, um, I'd be looking pretty good. But I'm happy with this as a start. Um, 30 days. It's gonna be fucking ch changing. Also gonna get grip strength. Uh, all right, I gotta fucking end these videos. These are taking too long. All right, I just got back. Oh wait, it's. Uh, I just got back, and look at this shit. Fucking bloody nose. Did first leg day, like first actually hard leg day, in a long ass time. And I got fucking bloody nose. That's how you know it was a good, pushed in hard, but uh. Yeah, fucking blow your nose. But, um, yeah, I'm gonna hop in the shower. I got a fucking meeting in, or a meeting in, I don't know how many minutes, too, too many, few minutes, but I'm gonna hop in the shower and then just progress. I'm gonna show my steak eating later today. I'm gonna put money on the board before I eat. I'm doing a fast till I make some money. Um, and yeah, catch it. All right, same day. My goal this morning was I was not, I was going to fast until I closed the deal and shit. Well, it's seven o'clock right now. I closed the deal like two hours ago. It just took me a while because I had more meetings and I just had to like go, go, go. And I wasn't able to eat it, but just cook this shit. Look at that. That's so far. I'm going to eat it quick before it goes, but it's, this shit's a $22 steak. $22 ribeye. I'm gonna eat this shit, well deserved. I haven't eaten the whole day, it's 7 p.m. Feels weird, but uh, yeah, I actually like it. It was good. Um, I'll try the steak, but this is, I don't know what day. I'm only eating steak. I had salmon yesterday for the first time. Um, not ever, but like the first time since I started this. And yeah, I'm gonna eat the steak before it gets cold, but yeah, that's what I, what I did. Let's get it. Just finished cooking up salmon. It's not in there. It's on the plate. Look at that bad boy. Give me. The only thing I don't like about this place is it smells like shit because there's zero ventilation. The I have to open the door when I cook because it starts smelling really, really stinky. But this is just what a normal meal would look like. It's pretty fucking big, giant piece of salmon. Um, and yeah, I'm going to eat it and have a glass full of milk. And that's basically just all I eat. And then sometimes steak as well. So that's what it looks like. Yeah. All right. So it's the fifth. 
the fifth and or no it's the fourth it's been eight days like a little over a week um shit is working i'm gonna i just did like shoulders a little bit and arms and now i can't flip the camera i'm gonna cut to what it looks like so this is day eight definitely leaner i think I mean, this shit's still gonna be gone. I mean, if this shit's what like gone down in fucking eight days, goddamn. Um, I did like forearms too, but oh, that's bad. I don't know if that's a good angle. Or not. That's bad. No. I'm really bad at posing. I should take some like fucking posing lessons. Uh, one meal a day is pretty it's like hard to do. Like the what I do, well, it's actually not as hard as you'd think, honestly. Like when people say it, like when I tell people like I'm doing one, one meal a day, and just eating steak or just eating something, they're like, what the fuck, why are you doing that? Like, you're, they th oh, think it's, like, bad for you. Like, if you think that shit's bad for you, I mean, what did people do, like, what are your primal instincts to, like, fucking hunt and shit? And, like, you have to be in a mode to get your food, like, you have to hunt for it yourself. You think that it's gonna be bad for me if I fast and eat one meal a day? Like, oh, where are you getting your vitamins? Okay, I'm taking fucking vitamins and shit. Like, I understand that stuff. Um, fat people telling me they know more about, like, working out and nutrition and shit than me. But I think, I don't know if I already showed All right, it just cut off. This is what I have as pre-workout. I've just, this is the first time I've ever tried um, Seabum's pre-workout. I usually have Gorilla Mine, but I actually like this stuff. It, get, it has a lot of whatchamacallit, L-citrulline or beta alanine. It makes you really tingly. Um, this is what I have. I have a shake of this every morning, which is green, so I don't have to eat vegetables. It's like ass. I don't even have the protein powder anymore. Like I don't eat that stuff. I'm only eating steak. And then I'll have like a shitty multivitamin. That's, I probably should get rid of this. These are probably bad for me because um, it's so crappy. But then fish oil, Boost, test boosters and then fucking liver support and shit like that so i'm having enough fucking thing and then i have like this organic at night i have this organic um juice stuff i had a different kind that was like different fruits and shit but then this is what the fridge looks like okay i got two i'll have like one of these a day a fucking pound and a half of like you can see how big this shit is like this shit's huge um but i'll have one of those a day or the, today I'm probably gonna eat this shit. This shit looks good as fuck. I had a whole fish. That's all left of the fish. And then what I do is I have that for lunch or around like two to six, whenever I like set a goal for the day or something and I get some work done or whatever, then like as a little bit of a reward, which I shouldn't do that actually now that I'm thinking about that. Um, I'm just gonna have it like two to, two to six sometime around there. And then I have a giant glass of milk which I don't know if that, how, if I should cut that shit out or not, but like it gives me the protein and stuff that I need as well. I mean, I'm just eating meat, but so then I mix one of these sparkling waters with this at night or just have one by itself. And then it makes like a good ass drink. And then I drink that at night. I also just eat some olives. I don't know if that's against the rules, but, but I make the fucking rules. So yeah. And so then I just get to work and then yeah, two of you, but I'm gonna take a shower. That's my update, day eight. And this is shit I'm working with on day eight. Shit, I man, I'm so fat. I feel like I'm so fat, but um, we're gonna be lean as shit on day, day 30. The only thing is like, that's like the day after Christmas. So I don't know if I'm gonna be, Fattened up, maybe I won't eat Christmas. Maybe that's like a bad thing. It's coming up, but not even a 
the only thing is my that's pumped right now is my forearms. So this is the morning. Like I'll do like one at night when I'm really pumped up and fucking lean and like fasted and shit, like water fast, like dry. But um yeah, I'm gonna take a shower. Get my shit going. And yeah. Cut to next update, which will probably be very soon. This is doing arms. I'm trying to saw a video. I just want to smash arms twice a week, just to like grow them as big as possible. Cause um, that's my main focus. My arms and my chest is really all I kind of need to do. My arms are getting sizable. Up here. This is like a mid workout. Kind of a peak going on. Definitely fucking leaner. But. Leaner. And like, what is this? Let me check. It's the sixth today. All right, so it's the sixth. Um, I can in the mirror, that's weird. This is 10 days in. Or difference. I don't know if I. This is only 10 days in. Only made like, I don't know, what is that? Like 2,000 calories a day? I'm, I'm, it's weird because I've never done this before and I'm gaining muscle. I haven't been working out consistently before this, so I don't know if that's it too, but gaining muscle while losing fat. So it's kind of just like, I don't know, not eating out, just eating good, lean meat. But yeah. Got to keep going. I'm gonna do some more arms and then head back upstairs. Next video. Good morning. It's December and it hasn't snowed. Oh, there's a dog pooping. Yeah, I'm gonna get back into it. I haven't done a like normal cardio shit workout thing. In a long ass time. Not a long ass time, but in a while. It's rough. Ran. What I did is I ran. This is like more fat burning. I did I need it like I'm working out, but it's not really like give me a good sweat. I turn up the heat, put on a sweatshirt and sweatpants. And then so look at that. It's like 75 degrees, you crank up the heat. And then go on the elliptical five minutes. 20 pull-ups, 20 push-ups, and then do it five, five minutes back on there, and then I'll go five minutes run, and then do the same thing, and then keep going. But I like doing kind of stuff like that, but it's fucking terrible. I never, uh, see, I'm even out of breath, I can't speak. Uh, I used to do that a lot when I was like, like sophomore freshman year and it works good so I'm gonna keep doing it at least once a week on my rest days rest days because like this doesn't really take any like muscle uh it's more like cardiovascular shit maybe some uh what's the bro I don't know the fucking word it's like your spine, your it's something system. Maybe I'm retarded. Fuck.
What is it? Central nervous system. That's what it is. I don't know if it fucks your central nervous system. I know lifting heavy ass weight does. So I need to recover from that. But I don't think I really need to recover from this shit that much, so. I'm chilling. It's just sweat and my lungs are fucked, but yeah, I'm gonna get better. All right, it's 11.30, December 8th. Um, I kind of fucked up. Today was really shit. Um, I had to move my desk into the closet, so I'm less distracted. So this is what I'm working with right now. And yeah, not a great fucking day because I mean, I had kind of, I didn't like fucking, I'm not counting as a fail because like I'm not insanely strict about it, but I fucking ate, drank so much coffee today. Like there's a new coffee machine that makes whatever you fucking want. And I had like six cups this morning and like I just had another two when I got after home from after eating I went to fucking Plaza Azteca that's just bullshit but um it's kind of nice it's kind of vibey I like this um but yeah there's no desk here anymore so I just got my sticky notes that's it and uh, I'm gonna just drink enough water try to get I have the most sugar I've had in years in my system from fucking coffee. So, I'm gonna fix it. It's fine. Uh, only one day. One day doesn't do anything. That's how I think. If I think that way, then it won't happen. So, it won't give me a lose gain. So, yeah, it's fine. I'm gonna just keep going and, yeah, pace. All right, I'm about to cook this fucker up. Oh, wait, where is it? I think it's in the bag. 2.66 pounds. Got the butter. I'm gonna eat it in full. One meal, 2.66 pounds. I'm gonna go cook it up. It's gonna take like a fucking like an hour, but. All right, one thing I'm learning. This shit is not making you stronger. If you want to get stronger, do not fucking do this shit. I'm, I'm struggling. Should not be a problem for me. I couldn't hit 225, even for one. And I was doing it for like seven. So, you want to get strong? Don't do this shit. Shit's ass for strong. Maybe if you want to cut, but... Uh, Cause I'm cutting a little bit, but uh, yeah, if you want to get strong, you gotta fucking eat. I noticed that um, being able to do 225 for like seven, I don't even know what my max was, it was probably around 250 or something there. It's still not even that great, but um, yeah, can't even, can't even do this shit right now. I don't know if it's an off day or something, or like I'm tired from other uh, workouts or shit like that, but. I didn't even work out yesterday. Yesterday was the rest day, so I thought I would be chill today, but I'm not. So, yeah, don't do this shit if you're trying to get strong. Only if you're trying to cut, because um, you're going to be weak as shit. Really weak. So, yeah. All right. This is 26th, I think. Or no, 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 16th. In 20 days. In better a little bit, maybe cheat a little bit, but uh, that's fine. Like it's not like super, super strict. Like it wasn't even a bad cheat. It was like vegetables and some shit, which maybe I needed. But um, did arms? Oh wait, Mary, that's upside down. I forgot. Um, that's not gonna work. I'm really bad at pausing, but. Okay, that doesn't work. I can't. 
can't do a vacuum. arms arms are a lot bigger I think at least I have a peak now like I have a decent peak but I still need to get leaner like that shit needs to be gone the hot like Christmas and shit is coming up so it's gonna be hard but just gotta just gotta starve myself that's all you gotta do to get lean, you just gotta starve yourself, and then, um, yeah, then you'll get re really lean really quick. But, um, yeah, that's that's just really it. You just gotta starve yourself. But this is not advice, so don't take that stuff. I'm not starving myself. That's a joke. Um, I have one meal a day, pretty much. It's either steak or it's salmon, and I have um, a fuck ton of it, like a lot. Like a lot, lot. So it's like, I mean, probably like a 2,000, two and a half thousand calorie meal. Without, because I don't have milk right now, it's probably a lot less. Because I don't have milk, I have sparkling water. That's all I have. And I have a shit ton of sauces and juice. Well, I have juice, but like, that's like healthy juice um, for like vitamins and shit. But um, strawberry jam or raspberry jam. I mean, olives or stuff. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> uh, it's not great. But we do have giant meats. Like we got a lot of meat. Like this is this is what I eat in one meal. Like that's two point uh, one one pounds. This is two point two point three five pounds. Um, I'll have one of these in a meal. Those are really annoying because, like, they're not seasoned and stuff. Like, I'll have one that has, like, a brown sugar or, like, steak thing that's, like, whatever the word is where it's, like, sits in the sauce. Um, I don't know what that's called, but, uh, I don't know what that's called, but it's pretty, it's pretty good. So, all right, I'm done. I'm gonna go on a meeting. I still work on the weekends, fuck it. Still work on the weekends, it's snowing. Uh, so I'm gonna get on a meeting and that's how my day is. Just wake up, be lazy, which I should not. Like I'm going to fix that. Today, I've just, or lately I've just been lazy. Maybe that's because of someone, but uh, just kidding. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna, Go, got a Christmas tree. Piece of shit. <sighs> Merry Christmas, guys. All right, I'm gonna end this. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> All right, it's the 20th. <laughs> uh, and it's gonna film me. I got six days left, but we're taking Christmas and shit out, so I'm definitely not gonna eat just steak and salmon. And she got me eating a bunch of Christmas cookies yesterday, so. Bro, that's not the end of the video. Alright, there's a meal. Like, I don't know, probably like a pound and a half. 
of salmon and uh, sauce. Sauce and then I'm gonna have a glass of milk. So this is, a, this is the meal. All right, so I just got back from skiing and I wanna show you guys just how desperate I am. I'm literally fucking pudding. Spicy brown mustard on ham. I saw having I'm having a glass of milk. Like I'm so hungry. I don't have anything that I'm like willing to cook. It's like nine or almost ten. I literally don't. I mean, I got carrot juice and uh, cucumber, roast beef or not roast beef, ground beef, and a roast chuck and milk. So what I'm doing is uh yeah this is where i'm at so i mean maybe this breaks the thing but it's pretty lean so fuck it mustard and ham all right just thought i'd show you guys how hungry i am right now all right so it's the 27th um i don't know what time it is it's about like 9 30 and uh yeah, it's after Christmas. Christmas was pretty rough, honestly. I I took both Christmas Eve and Christmas Day off. I mostly ate beef jerky, which, I mean, I think that counts as a thing. But, uh, yeah, I did have a lot of other shit. So, I'm taking off those two days. I'm going to, like, extend it out maybe, like, ten more days because of that shit. Uh, because I think it fucked me up a bit. But, uh, it, it wasn't that bad. Also, today, I got shot. I got shot today. Um, you can see my fucking coat. It's been a crazy couple of days. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Um, it's, like, it's getting swollen, less swollen now. But, like, I just, I didn't go to the hospital because, like, I'm not trying to fucking, um, deal with all, like, the legal. I don't know if there's legal shit that you have to deal with. I don't know if I should post this on the internet, but hey, well, it doesn't fucking matter. Like, it was a ricochet. It wasn't like I actually got sh I got shot, but, like, <laughs> fucking bounced back. And then, I mean, it went through my coat. Where's the hole? I'll pop up pictures of what it looked like. <laughs> Not the BB gun. <laughs> Bro, this is retarded. Well, I got shot. Ethan shot me. Turn the light on. Yeah, we're we're losing blood real quick. Shut your door. Yeah, the shit went through my coat double time and through my sweatshirt. Like I literally just bought this coat. I have the bullet too. I got the bullet. This is the thing. It went into my arm. Like this is it. It went into my arm. And, um, yeah, this is a bullet. But I'm keeping that there. That's a souvenir showing that I got shot. But, um, yeah, I'm fine. I'm not, I'm not going to the fucking doctor. I could have maybe used a couple stitches. But, like, honestly, stitches are for bitches. So, I like a scar. So, yeah. That, but that's, this is all besides the point. Um, I've been lacking a bit. I think I'm definitely later. I'm, this is with no pump. This is like me just eating. I'm bloated. That wasn't there, I don't think. But uh, yeah, when me, I have a bit of carbs. I didn't eat like great, but yeah, I'm gonna fucking retake another video when I'm pumped up tomorrow in a couple days or whatever. And I look a lot better because, yeah, this is not the, the final. I mean, this is, it's been 31 days, but I haven't been strict to it. And uh, I'm going to continue to keep doing it a long time. Kind of want to do like daily ones and just post them daily because, I mean, this is getting annoying because I, I don't do them consistently. And I don't even know what the video is going to be like. So I'm going to end it here. It'll probably be when I'm pumped up or like, yeah, not carved up. So it's like I'm actually more lean. It's not the end of the day after I've eaten, already eaten. I gotta recover from my gunshot and uh, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, the whole fucking point of that thing was to go, I got a red dot on my gun and we we're gonna go sight it in. 
and uh, my brother shot me. So, yeah, that didn't end. You might. A fucking power balance. Look at that, it's full of blood. You guys should get these. It heals you. So I gotta wear that. I gotta wash it off and put it back on because it's healing. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna go to bed now because I'm really tired. But yeah. All right, it's the twenty eighth. I'm eating beef steak. This is a two point five pound roast chuck thing, I think. But um, yeah, it's big as fuck. So that's 2.5 pounds. I'm gonna eat that in one meal. I'll take a video when I'm done with it, but it's good. Shit, I'm chewing. But yeah, I'm gonna watch some stuff. Some educational videos. And y'all, uh, eat this fucker. Might take me a minute, but we'll get her done. I'm also gonna pour a tall glass of milk. As you can see, my refrigerator is doing well. Um, as always, got fucking carrot juice and butter and mustard and uh, marinara sauce. But yeah. All right, this is the last video I'm gonna do um, for this challenge. Or I might do a little bit in my apartment recapping, but I'm in the gym right now. This is the last workout I'm gonna do in the challenge, not the last workout ever. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna get a pump, chest pump. I'm doing chest, but I'm also gonna get an arm pump so you can just see, and uh, shoulders too as well, now that I'm thinking about it. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'll film a little bit of me working out. I'm just doing like an incline kind of, almost incline chest press with the cables because I think it I think it just feels way better than uh, a dumbbell. Like when you're, I don't know, it gets a better stretch and then like you have more resistance going out. Like that it pulls you out versus just straight down like gravity. And uh, you can get some like leverage. So it's like I'm leaning up, but um, the leverage is more on your pec rather than like on your shoulders with what it's just straight up. And it's just like, at least for me, like my delts just get hit like a, a lot. And that's why I got fucked up shoulders, not just from benching more from swimming, but, um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. I'm going to film a little bit about this last workout, but I'll get into why this is the last video. It's, um, shit like seven days after so it's been like 37 days not 30 days but uh i'll get into why that is after after this workout after we do pump check and then uh yeah all right oh, there we go watch this is it recording it's recording so you see Watch this.
kind of got shaky. But that's really good. I feel that a lot. Um, what was I going to say? I like the cables. I like the cables. It's just like a uh, matter of fact of uh, just getting it to feel it before. Because I can't always feel it. When I'm, I feel the stretch, but like up here, if that's like a lot of weight, which, what is that, like 90? 90 on each side, which isn't a ton. But uh, that was a good set, honestly. It's more like up here, if I can't fully get it and around my shoulders. I know everybody always says the shoulders back and down and contract back, like it should be like pinching your shoulder blades together. Maybe, maybe that works for a lot of people. But honestly, it like for, for strength wise, yeah, you're probably a lot stronger. But I'm saying for like hitting this muscle, for at least me, my shoulders, if I do that, then it's just hitting my shoulders. It's just like, like that, cause like, it's already like, if your shoulders are up tight and back, not like down and out where you're rounding and your pec is pulling your shoulder in, I think that works a lot more. Like I feel it a lot more, I get more sore. Um, soreness, I guess, isn't a byproduct of you working the muscle. I guess like even if you worked it, you're not always sore. So I don't know how I feel about that, but I just like feeling it. And I'm not doing this for like to be a pro bodybuilder or to be a power lifter. Cause I honestly don't give a fuck about strength. I'm just trying to get huge. Uh, not like bodybuilder size, but like more aesthetic, uh, just like fit and uh, lean. Um, but yeah, just like to find, this is good. You, if you guys want to try this or have a like tower thing like this, this is, this is pretty fire. Like you can do a lot of things with this. There's not much shit other than here, but uh, also this stuff, like I was told this building is gonna like, somebody, some lady, a uh, girl who lives here also told me this shit, place is shitty when I was moving in first like month or so. I, don't, I honestly didn't have a problem. I wasn't doing anything, but now I'm kind of noticing it is. Like there's a gate out there that won't shut that like lets anybody into the building. Um, there's a lot of homeless people like out over by the river. Like we're not by any houses. Like it's just like pretty much like good view. The downtown's over there, but like down by the river, there's like homeless tents and shit, which is fine. They're not even close. There's train tracks, but these things don't work now. Like I've tried to use the treadmills, the, it, it turns on, but like, oh, what the hell? Never mind, that one works. Last time I tried it, it didn't work. It might have fixed them. This one doesn't work. Like it's on, um, but it, like I just put it up to three and it's not going. So. Yeah, it's really annoying. Also, that one's broken. Like the, the thing moves and I was trying to run on it and it slipped out from under me. Like the, the thing isn't sticky or it's not tightened. So that's annoying, but the building, building is kind of shitty. Honestly, for it being like literally brand new, like I'm the first person in my unit, that's, that's pretty fucked, but I mean, it hasn't been broken in, if you know what I mean. So that's fine. Uh, I'm breaking it in. And yeah, I'm gonna end this video. I gotta take it. Don't.
The other side is way harder for some reason. So, catch it. All right, workout's done. Got a really dirty mirror, but let's see what we got. All right, here I'm gonna fucking set this shit up. Hopefully that works. Oh, well, maybe that's not gonna work. I'm gonna do it right there. Let's see my toothbrush. All right, let's see if that's good. I did uh, no shoulders. So my shoulders didn't look small, but I did like an arm pump a little bit. I didn't even do like a really good workout. Spent a little bit of too much time damn, in the bathroom. I had some Mexican food last night, so that's not good. But um, dang. I don't know, I wanna see comparative to what I was had before, but this is a good pump. Um, arms are good, but shoulders, obviously, it's hard to. This isn't even like great lighting for like seeing striations and stuff. Maybe I just don't have them, but usually I do have some arm stuff. Maybe I'm just blowing a little bit, but. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely leaner. I'm really bad at posing. I don't, I think once I get shredded, I'll just get better at posing. I don't even give a shit about getting good at posing, but because if I'm just shredded, it doesn't even matter how you pose, you just look good. But it's pretty good. My main focus is honestly, I'm not gonna do abs anymore, honestly. Just lose fat, that's pretty much it. And then chest back lats i'm only doing lats my back is actually i haven't even showed my back go up but my back is usually decent from swimming i can't i'm not good at posing but that's pretty much what we're working with uh yeah it's pretty good like i've got some good mass i'm getting a scale i realized i didn't have a scale the entire time so I need one, but uh, if I had some down light, you know, it'd be good, but kind of a peak, can't do a vacuum. But yeah, that's the results after, this is, I'll do a comparison of what it was like at the beginning, what's like after still, Definitely could lose that fat within the next month. That's gonna be gone, I'm gonna be pretty shredded. And uh, I'll probably honestly be around like 190 then. I don't know what I am right now, I'm probably around 190. I can just put on like a pound of muscle the next month and then take off a couple pounds of fat. Um, that should be like 190, maybe under 190, I have no idea, but... Um, I'm pretty sure I just don't want to bulk anymore. Like, there's no point in me bulking. Like, I'm basically bulked right now, I feel like. And I can just get up to like this, but just get big. You know what I mean? So, uh, that's not great. Like, I'm not, I mean, content with this. But, like, it was just a challenge of getting back into it. 
it's just like a month in of, I mean, me consistently working out. Not even great lighting. I wish there was a place with better lighting. Here, let me see if this is better lighting in my fucking kitchen. Well, I'm gonna re I'm gonna restart it out here. Maybe there's better lighting. I also just need bigger arms. Bigger arms, big, I mean bigger everything, but like, more defined, honestly. I still wanna be move, mobile. Um, I'm gonna, I didn't say this, but I'm gonna, I started, or I signed up on Monday for um, MMA class, so I'm gonna try it out. I'm probably gonna join, I'm in between two gyms that I wanna join. Um, <laughs> I'm not gonna be good at it. I know that like I'll be decent um, I've been doing they have like this thing in the yoga room down there. I don't know why this one stand up. So I'll be decent. I mean, I, w I think I'll be better At kickboxing I just got my hips actually never mind because my hips are kind of kind of fucked, but I know it's all hips and fighting, so I've just been working on uh, like there's like a boxing, kickboxing class thing in the yoga room where it like has this giant TV, and I've just been, you know, just uh, I don't know what it's called, just doing that class thing. But um, I'm gonna get into that. That's gonna help with cardio. I don't know. I'm flipping it like that. Cardio, definitely help with cardio. Um, I'm gonna end the challenge because. I'll just sit it down and explain how when I didn't like follow it exactly, like it was pretty good, but um, you know, I wasn't, I didn't get the cardio to like actually burn the calories. If I'm doing cardio, if I'm like doing two times a week, doing a, I mean, MMA or brilliant jujitsu or Muay Thai, bro, I don't know how to say that stuff. So um, if I'm doing that two times a week, and that's burning cardio for me. And then I just like get a little bit at the end of my workout, which I've been doing in the kickboxing thing, which honestly, that's kind of bullshit. I might just get a bag in there, just buy a bag. I don't know. They're like a couple hundred bucks. Um, just to throw it in there or ask the fucking staff to do it. Um, but yeah, I got to shave this to look like a bum. But challenge was good. The, the main goal, like, ending this off, I'm going to post more consistent. I'm just going to do, like, I mean, almost weekly or daily, just, like, keeping updated. Because in my bio, it's de it's documenting my journey to the top. Which, oh, okay, okay, that sounds, <laughs> that sounds corny. Um, I feel like fucking Andrew Tate when I say that, but. Uh, yeah, pretty much just going to better document it. Keep updated, just efficiency, because like, it's not just me working out, it's me eating. So like doing this challenge is like eating, but like staying consistent, waking up in the morning, being efficient. I mean, I making money, that's an also big thing. Like I wanna like focus on business. It's okay, health is number one. Then I wanna do business and then making these videos is what I originally said. So overall, I did feel like just eating salmon and meat, like I like that stuff. You guys should eat whatever you want. Like this isn't, I was going to say financial advice, but <laughs> this isn't uh, nutrition advice. I don't fucking know anything about nutrition. Um, I'd like to think I do because I mean, I'm decently in shape. Um, used to be in a lot better shape, but um, yeah, I've done sports kind of all my life, but I just got to swipe over on this. But I would say, yeah, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start working out more. I I went to an old like I was I was in swimming. They do winter practices. Alumni come back. I went to one of those practices. We played ultimate frisbee the whole time. 
Um, very dangerous game. Don't play it. I broke my leg doing it when I was younger, my freshman year. But, um, yeah, shit, that killed me. Like, I, w I woke up the next day, I could barely walk. Like, I feel I felt like an old man. Like, when people say that, um, I don't know, you're like, on my hip. Like, I was le legit like that. Like, I was, like, limping around. Like, it was fucking terrible. So, that needs to change. I have no idea what's going to happen after doing MMA or jiu-jitsu or whatever the fuck. Because... No, nah, that was brutal. Like, I, moving side to side. Like, I was running. Like, I, I would be, like, running on the treadmill. I'm kind of, uh, I'm not even that big. Like, I'm, like, 190 and, like, 6'6'1". Six, six, but, um, yeah, it's not, shit, I'm not super mobile anymore. <laughs> like, I'll run in a straight line. Like, that's what I'll do in track is I'll run in a straight line or swim in a straight line or whatever the fuck. But, shit, when you got me moving around side to side uh, that takes it out of me my knees and my shoulders and all that shit they're kind of fucked so i'm hoping like mobility wise that can help a lot because i was stretching a lot before like when i was in sports like i was chilling but now my back hurts when i squat like all that shit my knees um i know it's fixable like it's just me i don't need to go into a doctor or something like that i don't honestly believe in like all that shit because you can do physical therapy but like Bro, I've done all that shit. Like, I've tried. And the only thing that I've worked with injuries and, like, fixing, like, knee problems when you're squatting or uh, fixing shoulder pain, you have to do it yourself. Like, that's the one thing. Because going into a physical therapist or some shit like that, never going to fix it. It's also what you eat. So, like, what I did now is, like, I was eating one meal a day. So, I would have one meal a day um, consistently. I don't know what that, what I, I say consistently. Every single day I would have one meal, pretty much, or eat in a, I might split it into two meals, but I'd put it in like a two to four hour period. So I'd eat, um, I'd go through the day, eat at like two to, I'd maybe eat at two. That was early if I'd eat at two. So I'd fast the whole day, eat at two to like maybe six. I'd throw some meals in there, eat like whatever. Or I'd just have one giant meal, eat like a steak or eat just a, like a big slice of salmon, like a pound of salmon or like two pounds of meat whatever have a giant meal giant glass of milk and then uh yeah that's pretty much what i was doing and honestly i like it like it it puts you in a state if you're intermittent fasting i know a lot of people who are doing this who i've talked to who are like i mean do the same shit like because i'm always on the phone talking to people who are like young guys who are doing i mean investing in, every, all those people are like into fitness and shit and uh improving themselves like and their businesses so talking to them they do they a lot of them do just intermittent fasting because it puts you in a state where like you're dedicated to something because when i wake up i've never liked breakfasts i would i would eat breakfast sometimes but, but it would be like the school breakfast is fuck like you guys should skip that shit and uh i saw it somewhere like you're just programmed to fucking eat like it slows you down the stuff that's in our food nowadays are just is just uh I mean, it's killing you slowly, like making your brain mess up. That's why I've taken those fucking nootropics and shit to like get my mind right. Because if I'm not eating like grass fed beef or like wild caught salmon or stuff like that, there's shit in that. Like I know there's shit in it and it's messing with your brain or there's like hormones or something messes with you. And uh, yeah, I, I, I'll i make a, I'm going to put another video i just thought about this i'm gonna put one at the beginning um just to like give a pre thing of i say of how it went uh and yeah pretty much i'll do that after i take a shower honestly pretty much that's i'm gonna end it on that but like put you i don't remember how this started but stuff i put in my body is like the main thing um i mean it made me feel a lot better like i'm i'm gonna be honest like fuck i had mexican last night and that I mean, it made me feel like shit, like, and then I had, like, a, I'm gonna be honest, I had McFlurry, but, uh, I didn't eat a lot of calories, my calories was, like, I was chilling, pretty sure, um, I don't really alright, I'm ending it off, so, show the good view, what that looks like, fire, I'm gonna make better videos, more engaging, um, I think I'm gonna just like buy a course or some shit, like how to get, uh, make better content and stuff. I'm getting like a writing class too, so I can get better at like, 
I mean, cause there are, it's like sales to everything. Like I, I can relate this stuff to sales. So like build a skill, engaging content, not just fucking all over the place mess. Still gonna post this cause I, yeah. But, um, honestly, overall challenge is good. Didn't make it, but, um, good overall result. Like it was a step forward. I don't take things as like a failure. I think it's just like a step in the right direction. If it's a step forward, Regardless, it's progress, so, and off there, peace.